Rossi is uh, right on the tail of Keystone. They both wobble in the wind as they come up the hill. That's well over 300 kilometers an hour. Here comes Rossi on the brakes in this case. Sean, he's not close enough. Here he comes. Rossi through on Stoner side by side. Does he run it wide? He's made it stick. Rossi up in the second no, place. No, Stoner's back. Stoner had the line coming out of the chicane. He's going to get him back down towards La Chapelle. It's like the old days, this one, isn't it? Yeah. Number one is Stoner, number 46 is Valentino Rossi. 11 world titles between them. This is the battle for second place. 300 kilometers an hour through the right hander, sixth gear. I don't think Ross is close enough this time round to make a move at the chicane, but he closes up, he closes up, he closes up. Surely not gonna make a move, but not gonna see a red all over again, are we? Here he comes and he's, uh, again, he's taken the line Stoner took on the previous lap and he's uh, used it to get on the rear wheel of Stoner. One and a half laps remaining in the French Grand Prix. Jorge Lorenzo leads by a comfortable nine seconds from Casey Stoner and Valentino Rossi are locked in a fierce battle. Here comes Rossi down towards the museum on the inside. Oh, and it's uh, going to be Stoner who just comes back in front of the Italian. Let us kid ourselves. This is the battle the world wants to see, isn't it? Casey Stoner against Valentino Rossi. There's so, so many reasons. Stoner cannot do it. We're at the far end of the circuit. It is one and a half laps to go now. They're onto the back straight, up in the fifth gear. Who's going to come out on top? You don't want to see it. Here comes Rossi on the inside through the second part of the blue edge. But again, just like at the chicane, he's going to run it wide on the exit. And Stoner comes back. He's trying to just devise a way to get through on Stoner, who has a bit of a moment heading into the double apex right. Rossi may well have the drive down the front straight here. Two of the greatest motorcycle races in the world, head to head in the pouring rain here at Roland Blanc. Two of the greatest of all time as well. Yeah. Uh, don't forget Lorenzo out of the front. Up at the chicane again. Here comes Rossi. He's going to have a go. I'm sure he's going to have a go on Stone. There's no way through the ring. Can he make it stick? Again, Stoner sits up and allows him to come through, but can't get the exit this time. Rossi just blocks his up. Down towards La Chapelle corner, Rossi has the advantage in second place, runs it deep into the middle of La Chapelle corner, but will get the drive out on the exit. They run up towards Museum, but it drops away the track into there. Garage fair is another option for Stoner to come back. Rossi has the hammer down, trying to put enough of a distance between himself and the Aussie. Through the Museum, down towards Garage Burn, half a lap to go, the French Grand Prix at Le Mans. This will stir up a few fans, won't it? <laughs> because uh, they've not been able to cheer on Valentino Rossi for the last year, really, apart from at this track at Le Mans. I think Rossi's got it. He's got it now on exit from Garage Fair. Sona too far back, going to have to settle for third place. He won't want to at all. And this will be Valentino Rossi's best result on board the Ducati. He's not retiring, he wants another two years, he wants more races like this. Oh, Casey well. Stoner must be enjoying this, but although he's probably going to lose out to second place. I think he's showing why he wants another couple of years. He's yeah. got the desire, he's still got the hunger. Wait for the cheers, listen to the crowd. Valentino Rossi is back. He's second here in Le Mans, in front of Casey Stoner.